So Ember is a carry, as well as a bit of a nuki type hero. Usually he's played mid, but I'm going to be playing him safely in this game. To go into the abilities, to start, we got Searing Chains, which that's our early on route. You basically uh, throw chains on the enemy and um, roots them in place, does some damage. And you can combo that along with the second ability, Slate of Fist, to basically jump in and chain an enemy and initiate. Yep. Wynn, can you stop taking last hits, please? You feed the flame. Not sure why this Windrunner feels it's necessary to take all the last hits. No, you were aiming for every single one. Cry about it more, please. Well, it's kind of cry-worthy when your support wants to take last hits instead of carry. A flash of inspiration. So anyway, following that, we got Slight of Fist. So as I mentioned, we'll be using that to jump onto the target, do some damage. It's good for harass while we're in lane. Late game and team fights, it's what's going to let us do a ton of damage. After that, we have Flame Guard, which you can think of. Flame Guard is kind of like a pipe and radiance combined. It's going to uh, protect us from spell damage in addition to burning the enemy down. Pretty nice skill overall. And then we have Fire Remnant, which Fire Remnant is going to let us put out little fire guys and jump to them. Um, in short, we can use it to initiate, we can use it to get out of lane. Overall, it's a really good skill to have. It provides a lot of mobility to the character and really brings something to the table different from a lot of other carries. Um, so for now, we're just going to work on last hitting, getting our farm. This Ember is... Well, not Ember, but this Bristle is... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty passive, it would seem. I mean, it's playing it a lot different from how I play, so... Whatever, if he wants to stay far back and just stay indefinitely low on health, that is completely fine by me. If you want to chain him, I'll follow up with one, otherwise we can do it at four. I'll um, slide and chain. Doing a slightly different build than normal. On um, usually on Ember, I end up trying to go straight for battle carries, and that hasn't been working for me in the last couple games. So I'm going to build up my boots, and then try a Mjolnir, and then from there, thinking I will aim for uh, like a Desolator and Daedalus. So aim to get crits on our slate of fists see how that pays off because well, in an older build with um, Zen or Ember Spirit as he's known now is to basically stack up on uh, Battle Furies and then you just end up having a really powerful um, Slight of Fist like you'll Slight of Fist to just cleave the fuck out of everything but Battle Fury is an expensive item and getting a ton of them done is not an easy task regardless of who you are so hoping that this will pan out a little bit differently. I really like playing Amber Spirit and I've been looking for a build that works a little bit better um, for my playstyle with nothing. them. So. The Mjolnir, we get Chain Lightning crits every time we uh, slight a fist pretty much. It ends up adding up quite a bit. Um, we're going to hope that that pans out. There we go. We'll stop that. We don't need you pop clarity potions. So far, our farm is coming along well. We're up to 19 CS at the four minute mark. 20. And we can't quite get a kill on this Bristle yet. And Bristle in particular, I mean, he's going to be a hard carry to kill. So we can't do much except for just kind of sit and wait for him to push up. Once he does push up, um, those early levels I got in Flame Guard are going to be really valuable in making sure he goes down. It's a matter of him coming up and trying to make a move on us. And she's 
seems content with just doing the occasional quill spam instead of actually trying to do some damage with him. I mean, I figured he would be sitting up in lane spamming the fuck out of those quills, but not the case here. You waste your essence. Grab my boots, and now we're going to start working towards Maelstrom. And we're aiming to get Maelstrom and not Mjolnir, simply because Maelstrom will increase our farming speed, and we're really pretty much looking for the uh, the chain lightning procs, and that's it. Not necessarily the attack speed. Ember is much more of a uh, ability-based carry than a raw right-click damage style of carry, so it's a lot easier to... Uh, build up just raw damage that I we can, can take advantage it. of with Sleight of Fist than anything else. Ah. And I think it's time, about time we start pushing this lane in. Your middle tower is under attack. <gasps> oh. Missed it. I've been trying to get that off, but it's kind of hard to time that, but if you can do it just right... You're able to uh, basically drop chains right after a sleight of fists and let you brew people in place who aren't missing. right on top of you, which can be pretty brutal. But, um, is under missed it there. Have you a light? I'm trying to try again in a second here. Your middle tower is under attack. Ember is not... Not Ember. All my own... Thinking of Bristle, talking about my own character. Mm, it's missing, huh? Killing spree! And drought picking off the jug. <laughs> oh man, not getting them too many creeps. sure I have enough mana to pop, um, what's it called? My flame guard anytime it comes up. So I gotta be a little cautious right now. And this is a good opportunity to actually make some damage into this tower. Gradient structures There's the fortified. Drow is just going around, absolutely dominating people right now. And I think it's time to push this up. And I think Windrunner... Get off me, Tower. What's this bristle doing? Just trying to acid spray for some unknown reason. Dire structures are fortified. Your so this is the one thing I like attack. about having a battle fury. Is you have that that just in lane regen that's really nice to have. And without it, we don't have that available. So maybe we'll go Mjolnir, or not Mjolnir, but Maelstrom, and then into battle fury following that. I don't know. Because the thing, like you really do have complete shit for mana on Ember Spirit, and um, your abilities cost a shit ton. So. It doesn't make for a very good combination, <laughs> uh, which is why he's a relatively good mid, because, you know, having a bottle all the time makes it um, easy to, to carry your mana consumers. Never refuse gold given. 
I could still go Battle Fury, but against the team we're up against, I don't see how well that'll work out for me. LC is getting fat. I think Drow is getting a lot fatter than LC is. Enemy's top tower has that been little bitch. Yeah. Got him. And then get away. we could push this tower. I should probably just back though. Yeah, I'm gonna back. I'm too low to really hang out. Well, I guess I'll sit while we're doing the tower. Middle is missing. Mm. Yeah, it's probably safer if I just go back to base. Kotal's coming in right now. Oh, Kotal and what? And Bristol. Could be bad. And they are, man, they are just nailing on him. Oh god, time to get the hell out of here. That Kotal Blast hurt a lot. Tis not your time. I'm low enough that a single quail would probably kill me right now. You're going to haul ass out of this shit. I need more time. This is, I don't know, it's hard to really think of a good build for, for Ember, because like I said, he's just really squishy early on, and unlike a lot of carries, like, you know, with something like um, Void, for example, Void, you know, Mask of Madness is always my standard on Void. It's easy to pick up a mask and then just, you know, basically you know, permabash your way to victory. Similar with stuff like Slaw or Sven, Sven, you have that, all that cleave. Whereas Ember involves a lot of magic and a lot of nuke. Your top and, uh, tower is under attack. Unfortunately. Oh, looks like we're gonna try and make something happen. Bitch. Killing spree! Now you go. Jungle wave now. You can see right there, like, just coming in, I mean, we had enough mana, we popped our Flame Guard, we did our Searing Chains to hold the Jug, um, one Sleight of Fist there, and one Fire Remnant, and that was all of our mana, our entire mana pool gone. And it's just like, you know, what the fuck, how are we supposed to, how are we supposed to be able to, you know, continually do our shit without a solid source of mana generation? And, uh, you know, it's gotta, I gotta find something. Like, I mean, Lincoln's is, is one consideration. Lost within the main Just because, um, I, am not ready. I mean, like, you are very squishy as Ember, and people tend to look at you and they're like, blah, nuke you. Um, yeah, Black King Bar, another one. Radiance, completely unnecessary, in my opinion. Haste. At this point, I think I might go into the Desolator area. Though Sange and Yasha would definitely help with my squishiness factor. So, you know, for now, I think I'll get a, um, I'm gonna get a Ring of Basilisk. That'll give me some kind of mana regen, even if it's just a little bit. And that'll help sustain me a little bit better. I'm gonna come mid to help you out here, Lion. We'll pop them off. Dominate. Oh, wow. Or you'll just finger him, that works too. Death to all betrayers. But um, yeah, and you do heal with Flads off of your uh. I it's it's passive for you now. It's just um, you have to activate it to help creeps. Like when you activate it, the creeps will get a bonus, but otherwise, it's just how it used to be. Yeah, yeah, it's always affecting other heroes and you. Yeah, I was, I was just going through an AZ and saw that the, the other day, I was confused about it. And we 
we're gonna maybe go up here. Let's see. Actually, yeah, we're gonna stay mid. Looks like something might be happening. But the ring, I think, will help. And I do like Vlad's because um, what I meant to say is that damage from Vlad's is going to um, that the life steal will work on Sleight of Fist. So it's nice to be able to do that to to stay in combat. You know, because we're obviously a squishy hero and being able to be invulnerable while we're jumping around it works out pretty well, if you ask me. Oh, shit, and I'm running like a bitch. Oh, my God. And the Omni Slash, wow. Yeah, it's a full four-man gang thing. And I was not getting out of that. Even with my fire remnant. That sucks. Illusion. Tried to pop it to escape. Didn't matter. Let's see what's happening here. A line might be over on the last little. Oh. They pop it? Oh, no. We got another pop it up. There is peace I need to here. get to mid. I can make stuff happen. I'm coming, team. Right after I grab that last hit. Is not yet time. Oh shit. I have a dual star. Mega kill! Ah, Killing Ooh, spree! Man, we almost got there in time for the sight of hand. Push this mid down. Oh, why is he gotta focus me? Fuck you, tower. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. It's gonna like half ass tank this while Drow and Windrunner nuke it. Chat Coldal Blast. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. Anyone wanna go top? We'll kill this jug. Your top tower is under yeah, he's gonna run into the woods and yeah, well, we got him to leave at least. Approach if you dare. Your top tower is under attack. Alright, we'll finish up this Vlad's on top of our maelstrom, that'll be nice. And then from there I'm thinking we'll go Desolator. Oh he didn't TP out. He's still there. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm not sure what the point of that was. Mm, a little bit more gold to finish up my plans here. Okay. Oh. Oh, hang on. Use car. Sorry. Use courier again. Radiant structures are fortified. Okay. So now that we got Vlad's, I want to go desolator. Oh man. I don't know about this. Oh yeah, he's a goner. Slight of fist damage, not much though. And still, I'm, I don't have the fucking mana to do much at the moment. And, uh, and, uh, uh. Oh my god, he hurts. God, I need to run. Oh. oh no! Get him, Weaver. Get him, finish him all off. Oh man. That's my problem. 
to hold mana. Do we have anybody with mana boots? I don't think anybody does. Yeah, that's probably why. No one has mana boots on our team. Oh well. I got Vlad's. That'll give me some lifesteal. Help me old here. That'll give me some shocks. Mm. So Sanjin and Yasha. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Desolator. I mean, Desolator or Daedalus are my two big choices here. And Desolator will give me the minus armor on everything, which will make Drow and Weaver hit a lot harder. Weaver, are you going uh, Desolator? So I was going to pick one up if you're not. Alright, well, I'll go Deso if you want to work towards, like, MKB. My CS. Wow, look at them chase. There we go. Final level of Sleight of Fist. Let's run up top, see if we can't help save the day here. Outstanding! I'm coming. Boom. Down they go. Making them big plays. Fuck this thing. Fuck you. And all your little creeps. God, I wish we had mana. Lion, you should switch to mana boots, because that would be totally cool for the team. We would all love you. Oh no, we just have... The enemy's top tower has fallen. Yeah, I wasn't sure. But I'm still trying to work out some kind of build on Ember. I just grabbed Vlad's because it works with Slight and my survivability shit. Honestly, I was doing the Battle Fury thing. I was doing like the triple Battle Fury, and I even tried doing like double Battle Fury and then other stuff, and it just couldn't work. So I've been going for uh, Maelstrom for the Sleight of Fists, and then working towards like a Desolator or a Daedalus. I was thinking Orchid maybe, but I don't know, because that would definitely give the the man I need. Invisibility. I feel like there's like 80 different builds for Ember, and not like one standard build it's everyone likes. Time. Well, so far I'm liking the, I'm liking this at least. The, um, going for like just the Maelstrom, or Molinear. Maelstrom instead of Molinear, just for the, the little bit of lightning you get. So I wasn't, I was doing that, and then I stopped. I was reading something that like, apparently it was bugged and wasn't proccing, but maybe it was just wrong and it was, I don't know. I mean, I see it proccing a lot, but it was I was reading something that said that like there was an internal timer and it wouldn't proc more than once per sleight of fist, but I don't know anymore. I don't really care. Double damage empowers me. Wait, what? This is DD. Maybe hey, we could Roche right here. I wonder if I can Roche. I got DD up. I don't 
think I have enough oomph to fight Roche yet. Nah, I definitely can't tank this shit. Just to see, because if a regen room props, that would be fucking sexy. Regen, 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 regen. No regen, son of a bitch. I'm gonna run back to base, just top off. But so far, this seems to be working out. I mean, I think a big thing is with the when I was trying to go straight Battle Fury, I wasn't building for. Um, oh wow, it was a regen. What are the chances? I wasn't like really building up. Like, I wasn't fighting, I guess I should say. I was just, you know, I was like farming and farming and farming. I was like, need my Battle Fury. I need my Battle Fury. Um, I mean, just being how much cheaper Maelstrom is, it's easier to get that and then start jumping into fights. I mean, you know, 2700 4300 That's a huge difference in price. So, I do think this is working a little bit better. Um, thinking Sanji and Yasha might also work just for the stats, but like I said, I don't really look at Ember as being a very heavy, like, stand and fight and right click. It's more, uh, you know, you pop your flame guard, you slide a fist in, maybe get in there with your ulti. Like, you have, obviously, you're going to be right clicking every now and then, but that's not really your focus. I shall spin wisely. We're going to see how Desolator works. Because, I mean, Desolator will apply that debuff to everybody when we slight a fist, which very well could prove to be, you know, absolutely insane. We're pushing this lane up. Looks like there's a fight happening. We're not over there, though. So that's no bueno. Actually, I'm only like 500 gold or 400 till Desolator. I'll finish that up and then I'll be easy to push in. We're gonna finish up the Desolator. And yet, they persist. Speed mode. Right here. Radiant structures are fortified.
And that's gonna be a deso, and now buildings are just dying. The enemy's middle barracks have fallen. Oh, fucking tanky as shit. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. I ain't even gonna move. The enemy's bottom barracks had fallen. There goes that. What's up, bro? Oh, shit. The Aegis. Ooh, Ember Spirit. Oh, balls deep on that. I think I like Deso Maelstrom on this. And then we're gonna go for Daedalus. Because... What's better than some crits? Not much. Crits are sexy. Yeah, that's the big problem. He's just... I don't know, I'm thinking maybe going like Lincolns on him. Because that would help with uh, the quick focus plus give you some regen. Like, I almost like Lincolns over DKB in a lot of situations just because it's I'm fucking huge. Down, you so Run, Weaver. That level 3 fucker's chasing you. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Like, Lincolns will block a Doom. DKB won't. Oh, man. This is not looking good. He's actually. He might actually get away with these Sakuchis. <laughs> yeah, this is funny as shit. You're just kiting him in a fucking circle. Yeah, I mean, if they're smart to, to eat the, the links, then it's useless, but... Balance assured. Oh yeah, with me with a bristle back, he'll just, you know, spam the fuck out of you. Alright, let's add some crits. Let's add some crits. I'm thinking maybe I'll start going because Chrysalis is only 2,000. So I could go Male, Mega Chrysalis, kill. Deso, Daedalus. That's a possibility. And still, my mana regen isn't solved, but this game's certainly coming along better than the other ones. And my damage is certainly there. I think I'm just going to take down this Rax right here. I'm going to pop top while they're busy bottom with you guys. Unstoppable. Do I have enough damage to pop it on my own? I might. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Ember Spirit getting the job done. There it goes. And their team's dead. So at least we're giving them a quick and painless death. We'll mega creep them here. And you can see this the you know that Vlad's really kicking in on the sleight of fist there a little bit. He brought us a quick like 300 health. The enemy's top barracks have fallen. The enemy's top Oh god no, not the duel! Not the duel! Not the duel! Oh. How did you Killing spree! Double and kill! Drown with Mask of Madness, Chrysalis, Xange, working up the Eagle Song. Or have the Eagle Song working up the Butterfly. We have a mid Kotal. Oh. Whose fault is that? Oh, man. oh god, no! The block knocking Tro into the base. <laughs> Oh, Weaver getting the kill. Oh, God, Weaver gets some fucking dirty. Run! Run, Windrunner! Get the hell out of there! I'm almost up. Actually, I don't know what I'm worried about. This game is over anyway. Like the Mega Creeps at this point is just trolling and killing the enemy. I wonder if I would sell that. More must be told. Holy shit! Oh, yeah, let's, let's do this. 
Boom, there we go. Boots, baby. Coming in hot. Oh, fuck. I did it prematurely. Son of a bitch. Oh, well. There's a win anyway. But with that, we have secured our win with Ember Spirit. So, um, I think we got two more E's left. If I'm not mistaken, we have Enchantress and Enigma. Which, those should be good matches. So, definitely stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you with more A to Z.